our next guest just graduated with a degree in psychology from Yale after serving eight years in the Air Force as an electronic warfare technician. But before all that, he spent a turbulent childhood in and out of foster care and adoptive homes. In a new op-ed that he wrote that ran on Monday, he credits all of his success to the conservative values he learned along the way. Joining us to share more of his story is Rob Henderson. Rob, thanks for being here. Thanks for having me. You have a fantastic story of overcoming. Give us a little bit more insight into how you went from foster care to the Air Force and now graduating from Yale. Yeah, so I mean, I was born in poverty to a drug addicted mother, and I spent uh, a lot of time in and out of foster homes, and I, I never knew my biological father. And uh, along the way, uh, in, in school, when I was 10 years old, a teacher told me that uh, you know, I could change my future if I focused and worked hard and you know, took responsibility for my life. And I took that seriously and started thinking about what I wanted to do with my future. And uh, along the way, I started thinking more about responsibility and, uh, and how the decisions we make today can, can change what happens tomorrow. So you had a choice and you were mentored along the way by certain people, in that case a teacher. Mm -hmm. I can, I, I, you could tell yourself I'm a victim of my circumstances or say I'm going to take responsibility for it. You say at, at its core that's a conservative value. You know, I, I do think that conservatives tend to emphasize personal responsibility more uh, than people on the left. Uh, I think people on the left focus more on abstractions and societal problems, and they don't focus enough on the individual and what we can do um, in our own lives to, to change our future. Absolutely. So you went into the Air Force, uh, did eight years, uh, enlisted, I would presume? Yeah, I was enlisted. Then you applied to Yale, got in. Now you're going to Cambridge on a scholarship. Congratulations. Thanks very much. They let a conservative sneak through that pipeline. <laughs> Uh, and, and, but what motivated you to write this op-ed in the first place? You know, I, I thought I had a pretty interesting story, and uh, it seemed like a useful way to shine a light on the challenges that children can face uh, when they grow up in, in unstable environments, in chaotic upbringings, and so on. And I was one of the lucky ones who turned out to do okay for myself. But most kids who, who grow up in foster homes and in you know, single-parent families and, and so on, they, they face more challenges than, than children raised in intact families. Absolutely. So if you were to give a piece of advice to, and we call them snowflakes, we joke around, you know, Millennials who aren't prepared for the real world, mm -hmm. uh, what would it be? You know, I would I would say to think more about responsibility, think more about um, you know uh, the importance of family structure, and to focus more on on children rather than on your own uh, desires. Interesting. So put the kids first, focus on their needs, and then obviously instill the values in them that fortify them to be prepared. Don't coddle them. That's right. Absolutely. Uh, what do you plan to study in Cambridge? Uh, psychology still. So uh, I've been working in a lab for the last couple of years, and um, I'll be continuing this for my PhD, um, looking at uh, morality and moral obligation and how people think about right and wrong. And uh, so this is my primary Interesting. Interest. And this, this op-ed came out on Monday in the New York Times, mm -hmm. and that was the day of your graduation from Yale. So was it fun at all to open up the... New York Times that morning and see why I'm a conservative from Yale on your graduation day? Yeah, it was, uh, you know, a, just a pure coincidence that it, that it fell on that day, but it was really interesting to, to see the response that I got, and uh, yeah, it was, uh, it, was, it was a good day and uh, an interesting day just to read the comments and, and the things that people were saying about yeah. it. Yeah. Rob, we get a chance to interview a lot of interesting uh, folks on this show, but hearing about your background, your service to our country, overcoming, focus on personal responsibility. I love it, and it's the kind of thing, kind of message our, our viewers need to hear more often. Take, pull up your bootstraps, get after it. You might have a tough circumstance. You're going to fall down, get back up. A great message. If you have not read that op-ed, it's called Why Being a Foster Child Made Me a Conservative in the New York Times. Rob Henderson, good luck over on the other side of the pond. Come back, though, will you, when you're done? Yeah, thanks very much. Okay, you got